Hi, today I'm going to show you how to increase or reduce the spacing between your text in a Word document. Now there are two simple ways to do this and I'm going to show you a more specific way to manipulate your text in Word by using a text box at the end of this video and that will allow you to move your text around your document freely without having to retype it. So the first thing I'm going to do is simply highlight the section of my text I want to reduce or increase the spacing, then ensure that I'm on the Home tab and then go to this icon here with a drop down arrow and then I'm given a variety of different options. Now here we're currently at 1.0 so if I want to increase my spacing, if I click on something like 2.0 then you can see the spacing between my lines increases. Now if I wanted to reduce the spacing between my lines I go back up to the icon here and then I go down to line spacing options and I will be given this box here. If I go down to spacing and then there's a box here that will allow you to input the spacing you require. Now in order to reduce the spacing it will need to be lower than 1.0. So if I put in, let's say I, I'm going to put in something extreme but like 0 0.5, click OK, you can see that it has reduced the spacing between my lines but it now is barely readable. So if I go back by clicking Command or Control Z and go down to the drop down, go to line spacing options and put in 0 0.8, click OK, you can see now that my text and my lines are quite close together. Now, if you want to just simply highlight a few of the lines in your text, if you try to go up to the drop down menu now and increase your spacing or reduce your spacing, you'll see that it applies to the entire paragraph. So the only way that you can highlight a few lines is by clicking at the beginning of the sentence that you choose, press return, which will um, bring a new paragraph into play here highlight that new paragraph, change the line spacing and then it will only apply to those lines that you've highlighted. What you can't do is highlight the middle of a row without it applying to the rest of the paragraph. So it will only apply to separate paragraphs. Now, in order to create a more specific text that you can have a little bit more freedom with, if we go to insert, text box, draw text box, we have a cross which will appear. If we click and drag we will end up with this clean text box. Now, if I decided to type some text in here, so for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to highlight this paragraph here. I'm going to click Command or Control C for copy. I'm going to go back to my text box, Command or Control V. So I've got now got some text in my text box. Now at the moment, if I reduce or increase my text box up and down, it's not going to do anything because I'm not actually um, impinging on this paragraph here. But if I go to the right hand side and reduce the width of my text box, you can see that the, the words and the lines and the paragraphs are now moving in order to fit in the box. What this allows you to do is to move this text 
wherever you want in your document. But in order to be able to move this text, you have to um, ensure that this text box can move, be moved around the document wherever you want. Now, at the moment, mine does because I've been using this document prior to this to ensure that I get this tutorial right. But in order to be able to move this around, you need to go to um, Shape Format up here, which will appear only when you've clicked on the text box. If you click off the text box, it will vanish. Click on the text box and it will appear up here. Click on Shape Format and go along to Wrap Text and the drop down menu and click on Tight. And this will allow you to move your text box wherever you want in your document. Now, in addition to this, if you don't want this border around your text box, again, click on the text box, ensure you're on Shape Format, and then go down to this icon here, Shape Outline, click on the drop down, and simply click on No Outline. And when you click off the box, the outline will have vanished. But again, you can move this box anywhere around your document. Click off it and there won't be a border. Now, if you wanted to extend or reduce the spaces between the lines of your paragraph, then you can just do exactly the same as you did before. Simply highlight the text, go to the Home tab, click on the drop down icon here. Let's go to 1.5 and you can see that we've increased the spaces between that text. And then we can just simply manipulate the size of the box to cater for our text. Now, if you want this text to reach the edges of your box, then all you do is highlight the text and click on, make sure you're on the Home tab and click on this box here, which shows the lines forming a square. And then your text will manipulate itself and move into a square. And once again, you can move that around your document. So I hope this has helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.